hello guys you're welcome to my kitchen it's nick spicy kitchen so guys on today's cooking we are making the almighty geese dodo did you hear what i said geese dodo so guys i'll be walking you guys through all the ingredients we'll be needing for this delicious yummy geese dodo so guys as you all know that geese dodo really mean gizzard and plantain known as dodo and this is my gizzard i'm going to be using a chicken gizzard today for this um wonderful yummy delicacy so this is the amount of um gizzard i'll be using so and one thing i want you to know is that uh, when it comes to gizzard and um plantain you need to know what you're doing because this is a lovely lovely and wonderful combo when it's you know the combination when you're eating so i'm introducing you now to my plantain known as dodo that's the dodo part that's why it's called geese dodo geese dodo gizzard and dodo so that's the mixture geese dodo so guys <laughs> i'm silly in it yeah so guys um this is the amount of the plantain we'll be using for this um wonderful yummy delicacy and this is my red bell pepper my green bell pepper i can't lay my hands on the yellow bell pepper so we have to make do with what i have so i'm gonna be just using red and green pepper so this is my pepper mix combination of scotch burnet red bell um red bell pepper and onions so no tomatoes and all no just the uh pepper mix just uh wheat i think um or chili yeah what i mean by all chili is um that long pepper yeah it's chili yeah red chili so that's the mixture of what i have there guys this is my onions diced like diced <laughs> and here is my mixed herbs this is my salted taste and also my seasoning and also this is my vegetable oil we'll be using i'm using the ktc vegetable oil this is a lovely and wonderful vegetable oil of all time so guys let's get into it so firstly i'm going to be like seasoning my gizzard i'm gonna have that in a pot had um the uh mixed herb um onions first not mixed herb i'm hiding my onions first so i'll be going in with my mixed herb so and also i'll be adding my seasoning and also my salted taste and i'm going to be mixing that with my hand that's why i have a gloss on because of the mixture putting my hand in so many things that's why i'm always on gloves and also i'm going to be adding water to that to cook i'm going to cover it off to cook for probably 10 15 minutes because i need it soft so after which we'll be going in in with our plantain i'm going to be um, dicing the plantain as you can see the way i'm going to be dicing this you can do this in so many ways so you just have to choose the one that is okay for you so i love it this way so i'll be you know slicing it into two then i'll be cutting it and dicing the part the first half cut uh the first half so i'll cut it into two after you know after cutting it after slicing it kind of then i'll now dice it in the middle i don't know if that explanation as you can see what i'm doing in the picture so i'll be adding that in my um in a bowl i'll set that aside so that's what i'm going to do you know throughout all the planting and that's just it for the planting so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for aren't you enjoying all the things all the boogies all the nonsense i've been doing all these silly things i've been doing you know so guys that's the plantain dodo so that's it it's diced so now we're gonna check on our um gizzard is done as you can see i tested it and it is soft because i love it very soft you know gizzard is kind of funny at times so i have to set that aside so now i'll be going in with my vegetable oil because it's time for us to do some frying guys yes some frying so firstly i'm going to be frying the diced plantain which is the dodo because that's what we call it in nigeria dodo especially the yoruba part we call it dodo 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 kire eh? dodo kire <laughs> anyways i'm going to be frying that thoroughly so I'm going to fry it because I don't want it to be too brown. Mm -mm. When it comes to this dodo, I don't want it too brown. This color is okay for me. So I'm going to be taking that out into my bowl. So the um, 
the tissue paper there is just for you to soak the oil any oil on it so that's why i usually put a tissue paper down if i'm frying um planting or i'm frying anything and i just want the oil to you know the excess oil there to soak out so i'll just use a tissue paper so guys after that is done i'm gonna add her gizzard into the oil as well we need some frying um i'm not gonna be frying this for too long nah i don't want too much frying just a bit a little bit of um some brown color but not too brown like you know what i mean not too brown so this is okay for me i'm taking that out so guys please take a minute like the way you're hearing me now take a minute be cool me. please subscribe to my channel subscribe it costs you nothing if you enjoy this nonsense i'm doing just subscribe watch my video like tap on the notification bell tap on it to get notified anytime i'm doing this rubbish so that you can watch my nonsense and rubbish so guys don't forget to also comment your comment counts a lot let me know if i'm making sense and let me know if there's anything you guys want to say or want to like let me know about what i'm doing so just give me a comment down below so it's time for us to do the combination of the geese and dodo so now i'm going to add some oil in the saucepan from the um leftover oil i use so i'm going to be adding lead to into the um saucepan add some onions it's time for some frying 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 so i'm gonna stir that thoroughly so after which i'm gonna go in with my red bell pepper we're gonna be frying that as well these days frying and frying and frying i think they're saying we should cut down on oil and is there a way we can cut down on all these things well i don't even understand as well anyways i'm gonna go in now with my green bell pepper so we're gonna be stirring that together as well but one thing i really don't understand about this oil of a thing is they'll tell us too much of palm oil is not good too much of vegetable oil is not good which oil is now good? what are we going to use i use um olive oil i heard someone telling me olive oil too is not too much of it is not good i don't even understand so guys that is fried so i'm going to section the frying the sauce so i'm going to take some out because i don't want everything in when i'm adding the other ingredients so i'm adding my pepper mix now i'm going to be stirring that together you see what i mean at the end of the um of the cooking you see why i took some out because i want them to show um in the geese do so that everything won't be you know blended with it when i'm frying this um pepper mix with a sauce so but am i even making sense anyways you understand what i'm saying whatever you understand what i'm saying so i'm gonna be stirring that thoroughly i'm gonna let that you know fry for a few minutes so i'll go in with my seasoning i'm gonna be stirring that thoroughly after which i'm gonna go in with my salt to taste i'm gonna stir that thoroughly as well stay and stay and stir and stir so first thing i'm going in with is my gizzard so i'm going to be adding my gizzard to that stay in thoroughly like you need to see the smell this was giving me when i was doing it like you don't want to know honestly give it a try guys just give it a try so now we'll be adding hawa fried diced almighty dodo like almighty as you can see I'm gonna be staring that. Oh my god, you need to see the way my kids are just all over this. Like, mom, I want more, mom, I want more, mom, I want more. So I'm gonna be staring that thoroughly. So you can see I'm adding the sauce I took out. I mean the vegetables I took out. So I'm adding that now because I want it to show in the you know in the food i wanted to show i don't want everything blended i didn't be nice i didn't take some out it won't really show like it won't be very obvious like this so guys what do you think thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe subscribe obiko bye